Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome to Rise of Industry. This is an early access title that's available on Steam today. Uh, the developers are very kind to send me a copy a few days before that, so I'm able to have a play around with it to show it to you this afternoon. Uh, if you are a regular viewer to the channel, apologies, there's no Planet Coaster today. Uh, I just haven't been in the game enough to warrant making a video, unfortunately. Next week we'll do a bumper video of everything I built over the two weeks. Anyway, Rise of Industry is, uh, as you would imagine, an industry management game. Uh, I've had a very brief play through the tutorial. There's quite a lot going on, so we'll see how we get on with it. Um, but this is very similar to a lot of sort of transport games or other industry games where basically you're not actually placing down each individual house or each individual town or anything like that. Uh, towns and things are generated procedurally, as you can see here, and it's your job to, um, to kind of... Uh, work around them and send them things that they want and uh, and all sorts of stuff like that so here's our map each of these lines are regions okay so we've got bedman bedman's gory down there we've got Thropwort, which is obviously where we're going to start off in Thropwort, there is a uh, an orchard for apples um that's not as but uh, you know we, we can get a permit to build here basically so let's have a look at the farmer's market first of all um, they would like some vegetables, so I think we could set up a little vegetable uh, system here in Thropwort. Uh, I'm hoping that the borders here don't bother the water too much. I think we might have to look at doing some water all the way down here, but that's okay. We can do that. You want to keep out of the way anyway, because, uh, well, frankly, if you go too close to the place, they're going to get a little bit annoyed with you. So go to our region, and um, we'll click Purchase Permit. So for quite a lot of money, we're going to uh, buy a permit to be able to build here. So now we can build within uh, this sort of little island here, which is pretty good. And we're going to uh, hopefully sort throp water out with some uh, nice fruit and veg. So next up, we're going to have a look at our tech tree here. This is how you decide what you're able to build. You spend your points into building stuff. First of all, you have to choose a specialization. We have gathering, we have farming, we have industry, and we have logistics. We're going to go for farming to start off with and uh, it's going to give us crop farms, orchards, and I assume these things will come later with the full release. So we're going to click OK with that. So we've got one R&D point to use, and we're going to use it on uh, three R&D points here. So we're going to have a crop farm. Unlock that. We're going to have a, a green, so we can make the vegetables that they want. Okay, and then we've got one more... Uh, we'll do irrigation. It looks the ability to place five fields for crop farms. That sounds good. Okay, cool. As far as gathering is concerned, we need some water. So we'll use our one R&D point in gathering to unlock water. Uh, industry, I'm not too worried about anything there yet. But logistics, here we need this truck depot. We've got one to use there so we can now build truck depots. And that's for going to be moving the stuff around, okay? So, um, okay, that's all our R&D points spent. We're going to use this little bit of water here to start off with. So let's get our uh, water siphon, and we'll pop it just uh, here, like so. And then here we can use, um, we'll rotate these a little so the water's the right way, and we can build, we'll build two of these here. So we've got two things now, siphoning water, dirt road can come down. The art style of this is really, really cute. I love this sort of voxel build. The only thing I will say from having a little go with it, uh, the UI, I think it needs a little bit of work to make it scan a little better. It's a little difficult. Um, it could do with it being a bit more readable. Um, but yeah, overall, the uh, the art style is really quite fantastic. Uh, we now need to take this road all the way up here to the high street there to join up into Thropwort. Okay, and then down here... Um, eventually you should start seeing trucks head back and forth here to supply water. So what I'm going to do is make this into a little loop. And they might even do a little loop now so they don't particularly get in each other's way. That would be nice, wouldn't it? I doubt they will, but we can dream, can't we? Okay, cool. So let's get our first farm down. A crop farm we'll have. And we'll uh, rotate it here. And... Uh, yeah, that looks good there. And we'll start putting down some fields. It's telling me we've got no fields at the moment, but we're going to click that button there and get some fields. We can have five, so we might as well have all five. 
But we're going to change the production. Currently it's on wheat. We're going to set it to be vegetables here. So eventually I'm assuming more of these open up. Uh, so that'll start producing some veg. We need to send some of this water here. So destination. Uh, choose destination. Farms. Crop farm one at vegetables. Okay, in Thropwort. So now this guy, is, uh, these will ship out here with the water. And... Oh. Oh no, is that one that's going? Okay, so vehicles can cross over, that's fine. I thought, I thought tra traffic might be an issue, doesn't look like it's going to be though. So they're going to go there, they're going to drop off the water. So let's see, is there anything else they need? Analysis. Um, production. They've got the water, amount needed. Looks like it's coming in though. Overview. Uh, water produced at the water siphon. There's zero there at the moment. I'm assuming one car isn't one of them, so... Let's have a look what happens when this one goes. This looks like it might well be the last one of the run. So now they have one water. Oh, it was straight away used already. So they'll just keep passing that back and forward. Okay, so we now have crops on the way. Good stuff. Uh, next thing we need to do is get these crops into the town, specifically into the, uh, the little farmer's market that's here. We're going to do that by using some trucks. So we'll get down here into logistics. And we'll set up a truck depot. Um, we kind of want it out of the way a little, really. Um, we, mm, let's put it. Let's put it down here. Cool. And we need another one actually, because we need one on the other end. Um, and we'll put this one there. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna send our crops from here to here truck depot one so let's have a look where they are logistics there we go truck depot one okay so now here we go the crops are coming out and they're going to go to here we then need to set this one uh choose a destination choose product first sorry products because obviously multiple products can go into the trucks, can't they? So we've got... Uh, see, all these are a bit difficult to see. They, they could do with being a little bit more um, easy to see. Raw resources then, is it? Yeah, okay. So vegetables, there we go. And the destination for the vegetables that come into this place are Truck Depot 2. Okay. And you'll see they start coming down here. Cool. So once they get to Truck Depot 2, any vegetables that come in go to the closest farmer's market, which is the one there in Thropwort. Okay. So I think that's it. I mean, all this stuff's really close, but these are... I'm assuming people aren't very happy about it. So it seems awfully close to the town. We, we've got this lovely setup out of the way, you know. We've taken the time to make sure it all looks nice and it's all off the beaten track. So they're selling veg. Let's set something else up as well. Because at the minute we're losing a hell of a lot of money. Uh, so they want uh, apples. They want berries, grapes, oranges, eggs, sugar and milk. Um, so I'm not producing an orchard, plantation, orchard... Orchard, livestock farm, plantation, jump here. So I wonder when we can, we have a point to spend in farming, I hope. No, industry still, we've got one. Um, so how do we mill, build, how do we earn more? Three points allocated because tier one has been mastered. Okay, so let's have... Oh, these are a bit late now, aren't they? Production speed of the fields increased by 10%. Increases storage capacity of farms and decreases farm upkeep. Well, that one then. Oh, we've got all these. Sorry. Okay. So we can build livestock farms, but we haven't got any uh, any points yet. They're, we're earning them somehow. I assume they just sort of tickle up uh, as we go. So the only thing we can do, really, is build carpentry centre, but I'm assuming for those we need lumber. 
So yeah, we've got none there either. So although that number's going down there, which is good, so I assume we just kind of leave it running a bit. Let's maybe speed it up a little. The process seems to be running okay at the moment. We've got... We can have one more harvester if we want, but we won't bother. Um, we produced seven. I don't know whether that's good or what. But at the moment, it's going all to the uh, farm there. Okay, so this farm has got water coming in and it produces that. Okay, there's no way it tells me if it's waiting for water or if it needs water that I can see. Building upkeep, uptime, dispatch costs. Okay. Now the one aspect of the game I didn't really get from the uh, from the tutorial was that um, the stuff here is being so stored and if there's a if there's more being stored than is being sold, the price goes down or something. So sometimes you might have to ease up on the production to to make that happen. So I don't I didn't really understand that. It was a bit too advanced for me that sort of stuff. Hardware store. What do you want? Hardware store. Fabric, dye, paper, glassware, carton, cardboard, paint. We could do we could maybe do paper. Um, wholesaler. What do you want? Wholesale raw products. You're you're just making water. You're a producer. The water siphon. Which water siphon? Who's giving you water? Where are you getting water from, big boy? It's not us. Watch all these tries here. See where some of them go. Um, let's have a look. Is there a siphon down here that somebody else is providing you water? Because I don't think it's coming from us. Hardware store. Oh, we've looked at you. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we are slowly getting towards making money. We, you know, we are getting there. Uh, I do think like we could have something else up here out the way in a moment. But for now... It's saying we have a point, but it's just in um, this one, unfortunately, which isn't really very useful to us because all of these need a farm to get it going. Let's have a look. Farming. Ah, so there, that's going up because we that was only 12,000 before. So even though we need 313, what do we need? 3,906,250 points. Where the, why, where did those numbers come from? Um, oh, look, there's a little boat over here. Oh, it's a little fishing boat. Oh, and it's there. It's going back and forth and it's fishing for Chitsbury. Oh, that's cute. We've, uh, we've, we've, we've played ourselves quite simple here with Throckwall. We, we want to, we know where we, uh, we know where we stand. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it all looks very cute. Um, we can duplicate buildings. We can demolish buildings. Let's have a look. Terraforming's coming soon. Landscaping's coming soon. Uh, bridges can be unlocked and tunnels can be unlocked. Okay, so neither of those we're able to do at the moment. So it's just is there anything our farmers market needs. Fish. That was a that was a, a gathering as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, I have two hundred and forty-eight thousand. Is that the same number? No, the 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 R and D is raising itself differently number wise. Can't quite figure out how we're ever going to build industry because... Oh no, we had the one point, don't we? So yeah, that makes sense. I think Orchard next then. Orchard next, because we can pretty much run that into the system we've already got. This, what, this place wants apples? Yeah, it does. So we can do Orchard. Uh, we can do apples and grapes. Okay, we could we can, we can pretty much take the farmer's market market here and corner it. So uh, just waiting for those points to build up a little. I've just realised we're making we're making quite a bit here. We've got um, let's have a look. Storage, fifty units per slot. But most of it's getting to here. Um, it's all going from here and getting to here, and it's all going from here and getting to here. And there's always a few there. So what I'm thinking is we can buy the. Uh, the thing to build into Chitsbury here, build a truck depot, 
and have some of our apples coming over to Chitsbury as well. So let's have a go at doing that and see if that works out. Let's purchase the permit. Uh, whoa, it's a lot of money, but I think we're okay. Yeah, okay. The permits seem to be the most expensive things. So let's build a truck depot and we'll put it down. I don't want to build it too close to the town, but. Uh, but what are you going to do? I suppose we could. Whoops. We could, we could be nice and we could put it here on this dirt path. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So, if vegetables come here, the destination is the farmer's market in Chitsbury. Do you know what would be nice is if that lit up, if I was hovering over it, just to be doubling checking that we're using the right one. So, then... We can go, do we go from there to there, do we go from two to three, or do we go from one to three? I suppose we go two to three, don't we? Let's just put one truck on that. And then put two on that. How many trucks do we have? Oh, trust trucks dispatched three. Oh no, we have five. Okay, so let's put three on that one then. In Mon Monisto? Oh no, wrong one. Logistics. Or is it yeah, truck depot three. Oh yeah, Monty Monty Stowe. It is in Monty Stowe. Sorry, carry on. Um, so is that a good thing to do or not? I don't know. We now have no vegetables there. Oh, we have one there. Uh, but they go, they go, they sell, and that's good, isn't it? I suppose that when they get there, they sell. And then over here, where are you, farmer's market? We have none there. Uh, no, we set this one to send destinations to farmer's market, didn't we? Okay, uptime. Yeah, nothing's got here, basically, is what it's telling me. Oh, there something did. Oh, I can't keep up, but that, that delivered something then. I think. Okay, oh yeah, look, that number's gone way down. It was on like 25,000 a minute ago. So now we, we are pretty much covering the uh, the vegetables requirement all over the place. Have we yet? How are we doing here? We're about halfway now, so it feels like we're getting somewhere. Okay, that took an age, but we've got the uh, point now. So we're going to build an orchard. Unlocks apples, man. I think we got one in logistics as well. So I don't know whether to go for Urban Road, Urban Road or one of the truck depot bonuses. What do we get there? 25% trade ditch dispatch cost or plus two trade truck capacity. Um, that sounds good. Or what's this one? Dispatch. A uh, one dispatch. Oh my god, I can't say the word dispatch. Or urban road. Doesn't say what urban road really does. Uh, one dispatch for every building. That could be quite useful. Um, or the big trucks could be good as well. Let's have big trucks. Big trucks. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Big trucks. Okay, so now we can have. Um, are they big when they when they drive out? I want to see. No, they don't look any different. That's fine, though. Uh, okay, I want a uh, orchard. Here we go. I'm going to rotate you up. No, no, rotate this. Oh, my word. Not rotate the screen. Rotate you. There we go. Um, and we're going to put you... Uh, we're going to put you... Um, where are we going to put you? We're going to... Uh, let's have a look how big the orchard is over here. I want to see... The sort of space we're up against. Okay, so they're four wide. Four wide. So four wide would be there. Okay, that seems all right. So apples, apples, 
Apples. Okay, that's all we can have. Okay. So let's close you. Right then, production. Apples, yes, good. Uh, destination, once the apples are done, you got to go to logistics truck one. There we go. So all your apples go there. Thank you. Right, so we need to get some water to you. Um, oh. Oh, we can't do that. So what do we need for you then? Um, gathering... BBC Piper, let's see BBC place five harvesters. Um, lowers initial cost, area of influence, lowers initial cost. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, so we should have done. We should have done that one then, shouldn't we? Okay. Well, we're nearly there anyway. We only need a couple of thousand, so as soon as that happens, we will. But for now, um, if you get apples come in. Where are you, apples? If you get apples come in. You're going to send them straight to here. Truck Depot 3. Okay. In Monisto. And then when Truck Depot 3 gets apples, you're going to send them to the nearest farmer's market, which is in... See, this is why I think we have a problem. Monisto. Right, I'll show you why. Okay. This one here, Farmer's Market, it says here Money Stowe, but it says Chitsbury. And Money Stowe is, uh, is here. <laughs> so, yeah, not too sure what's happened there, to be honest, but it's alright. It seems to be working, because we're getting, every now and again, there's a gold thing come up. So this should be fine, apart from the fact that it isn't producing anything because it needs water. So, now we've got points, so... Dispatch slots unlock. So now we can do hopefully here. Yes. So choose destination. This time you're going to go to our uh, apples. All right. So you should now be producing some apples. I'm going to wait and see if I've, I haven't seen a lorry go into you yet. Oh, we got a pay rise. A region has voted to increase the rise of its citizens. Pay of its citizens. Upkeep 25%. Okay. I haven't seen any water going to here yet. Ooh, still haven't seen any water going to here. Oh, there we go. Two trucks go to apples. Okay. So let's make sure they're all sorted everywhere else. You've got destination. Um, truck depot 1. Yeah, that's fine. Here, destination is also truck depot one. Yep, yeah, all that's no problem. So truck depot two. Um, veggies go to depot two. Apples go straight to three, and then from two, some of it goes to farmers one. Some of it goes to depot three. Okay, so what we could do is this now has. We could mm, we could send some apples there. Let's knock one of the veggie down and let's do um, apples. Also go to truck depot two. Okay, just one truck's worth, and then from truck depot two. You go to Farmer's Market in Thropworth. So we know we've got some apples going to both. And I think that's going to make us some money, but it probably doesn't. At the moment, we're losing mega money. But it's give us a chance to see what's going on, isn't it? You know, obviously, uh, this is going to be a bit of a long haul game. Uh, here we have done a little first look at it. Do I see myself playing it more? Probably not, but that's mostly because it isn't really my sort of thing as opposed to the actual game having issues. I actually think it's pretty um, pretty fully fledged from the looks of things for an early access title anyway. It's very pretty. I uh, love the art style, I think, especially when you when you come in quite close. It's a very pretty looking game. Um, really nicely looking, uh, really nice looking buildings. We'll slow it down a little bit. Trucks all look good. 
Um, you know, looks wise, maybe the trees don't quite fit with the slightly more detailed buildings, but overall, very, very pretty game. Uh, I think the UI uh, needs a little work. Um, it looks a little uh, samey. It's quite difficult to scan and read some of the numbers, so I think maybe that could be something they look at uh, while they move towards release. But other than that, if this is your sort of tea that they're brewing you know get on it i'll put a link in the description to the steam page where you can find it uh, thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it if you have you can give us a like it really does help out the channel and if you're not already don't forget to subscribe any thoughts queries or suggestions you can pop them down in the comments and if you fancy chat you can find me on twitter i'm at john t sparrow if you'd like to join in with the geekism community you can do so over on our geekism discord server you'll find the link in the description thanks again for watching i'll see you in the next one